You don't need to be told how a, a floor jack works. But some of you probably have not used these things. So, we ready? All right. <clears throat> First thing we're going to start is talking about the floor jacks. Um, we have most, multiple floor jacks in this building. And what you're going to find is these floor jacks are all different sizes. Um, these floor jacks are different sizes due to their lifting capacity. Now, when it comes to lifting up anything, whether it be an automobile, machine, tractor, and so forth, we need to understand, have an idea of what it weighs. Okay? Now, the nice thing about the jacks is, typically, if we roll a jack under a machine or an automobile and it's too heavy, the jack's not going to lift it. Okay? But where that becomes more important is with the holding device. If we put a jack stand, these are called jack stands, if we put a jack stand underneath of something and lower it down onto it, and the jack stand does not have the proper capacity, uh, we're going to open up room for harm and damage to things. We can certainly damage the jack stand and potentially cause harm to ourselves. Because Typically, if we're lifting something up, that means we've got to get underneath it or gain more room to do some sort of repair. So, um, our jacks will have different capacities on it. We can see right on this smaller jack here that it says two-ton capacity. Can anybody tell me how much, of a, how much a ton is? 2,000 pounds. Can anybody tell me what a long ton is? 2,250 pounds. In most cases, 2,000 pounds is the number we use. The reason I say long ton is because I hear a lot of you talk about uh, scrapping vehicles and so forth, and different scrap yards will pay on a short ton and a long ton. So there, there is a difference. Uh, but 2,000 pounds. So this jack is built and intended to lift how much? 4,000 pounds. Can anybody give me an idea of what 4,000 pounds is? Something to compare it to, an automobile or something. What do you think an average pickup truck weighs? When I say average, I mean half ton, four wheel drive, gas engine pickup truck. How much? Three or four ton. I hope not. No. Average pickup truck in today's world, when I say average pickup truck, it's probably going to be a half ton, it's going to be four wheel drive, it's probably going to be extended cab, and it's going to be right around 5,000 pounds, give or take a little bit. We're talking law of averages. So, with that being said, this, this thing's not going to pick up a whole pickup truck, right? With that also being said, we typically are not trying to lift the whole vehicle with a, with a floor jack. We're going to lift up a corner, or a side, or a front, or a back, okay? This jack here, four tons, is considerably bigger in size, um, and it has a greater lifting capacity. Now these jacks, typically speaking, um, our handle on it is the portion that will allow us to raise the jack, and also the handle has the release for the valve. So usually we, we turn it counterclockwise, we'll release it so it can lower, turn it clockwise, it'll shut the valve, and then we can go back to pumping uh, uh, the handle for lifting purposes. Same thing applies to these larger, larger jacks. Now typically one of the things with these larger jacks is the handle will, will lock in place, okay? Um, we can have some adjustment here. This one, you lift this knob up and you can move it. Um, for instance, maybe we need to get this way underneath the machine and if our handle is up here, it hits the machine before our lifting pad is in location. So maybe we would have to bring this handle down so we can get it under there further, okay? Um, so we will have a, something to move that. And on this jack here, it's this knob right here, pull it up, move it in place, same deal. Turn it clockwise, it will, it will close the valve so we can work the handle for lifting purposes. Turn it counterclockwise, it will open the valve and allow it to lower, okay? 
all of our jacks in here, there are a couple different designs of jacks in here, and we'll see some small variations, but for the most part, this is pretty standard. This is how they work, okay? Now, more importantly, we are going to move to jack stands. Now, when it comes to jack stands, this is where we need to have a general idea of what we're trying to support. we got to have an idea of what kind of weight we're dealing with, because as we can see here, we have this very small jack stand, and it says two-ton capacity. Okay, it means this, that's what it can hold. This thing's designed and tested and intended purposes is to hold two tons, 4,000 pounds. Okay? Now, actually, as the jack stands grow in size, their capacity is much greater. This one's a five ton. So how many pounds? 10,000 pounds, okay? And then we can go up to this guy, 12 tons. Um, can even hold more, and we do have a few out here that are down there that are even much larger, okay? These are our standard jack stands that will And in most cases, for most of our machines that we're going to be lifting and supporting, we'll be using these guys. Um, when we get the backhoe back in here, the backhoe, we would use these 12-ton jack stands. The backhoe is quite heavy. Now, a small automobile like a uh, front wheel drive car, Mrs. Gardner's van, um, even I drive a Jeep Cherokee typically. I haven't driven it yet this year, but that's what I typically drive. Um, we can use these small jack stands. My Super Duty truck out there probably need to step it up to something a little bit larger. It's considerably heavier than your average front wheel drive or small vehicle, okay? If you have questions on what to use, you're gonna bring it to me and then we're gonna discuss about how we're gonna figure out possibly what something weighs, okay? Machines have identification tags on them that we can do some research off those numbers and can get an idea of what the machine weighs. Automobiles, they have some tags on them that will lead us to believe or lead us to what is the correct weight of the vehicle. There were, that way we can make uh, can pick the proper jack stand to hold them. Now, we discussed in the classroom things to look for underneath the vehicles and or machines. What we're going to lift up. And without having them here, when we get into a lab situation, you guys are going to have to determine what is a good lifting point and what is not. Certainly, drive shafts, plastic things that are underneath the machines or in or vehicles. Um, hoses, we get into machines, we got a lot of hydraulics going on, hoses that are hanging. Now, we don't want to crush or pitch those hoses and cause damage to those. Uh, so, these are things we got to look out for. Fuel tanks are a big one, especially in automobiles. Especially in automobiles. So, we've got to be watching what we're doing and where we're putting them. Um, during our lab tomorrow, we will work with that. Uh, we'll have several things in, within the shop where you can uh, jack things up and we're going to place them on jack stands. Once again, what did I say we were going to do prior to jacking anything up? Chop the wheels. Chop the wheels. In this class, we have lots of different blocks of wood around here that we'll use for lots of things. These make great wheel chops. We put them in, not just on one, one side of the wheel, we're going to put them on both sides of the wheel. We don't want that thing rolling around. Okay? Uh, we'll chop the wheels, find a good lifting point, lift it, find a good support point, put the, the jack stands under it. Biggest thing is I want to hear is communication. I want to hear all clear. I want to hear you talking about, okay, we're going to jack it up now. Um, I want you talking, you know, about, okay, does this look like a good point? Where are we going to put the jack stands? When automobiles are relatively small, so you can reach under there, slide a jack stand under there without compromising yourself and getting all the way under an automobile that is lifted on a jack. Now, when we get to machines, the rules change a little bit. They're bigger. Your arms are only so long, you can only reach so far. So we're gonna have to really be talking and, and safety is a big key. And uh, how are we gonna place these jack stands where they need to be placed so we keep ourselves out of harm's way um, and we can put them in there safely. So we'll talk about that more tomorrow. But uh, those are things we're gonna think about. 
So, are there any questions on jacks and jack stands? One thing I need to preface, and I will probably have to repeat this multiple times, these are not skateboards. These are not scooters. I see you cruising around in here, using this as such, we're gonna have an uncomfortable conversation, okay? These are tools, um, they are not toys to play on. 